second part of my mail call is this thing. Yeah, I've opened it. Well, you got to open it, haven't you? It wasn't in there. eBay called me. It wasn't in there. Look, it's empty. I bet people does that as well, eh? Anyway, I plugged it in. It smoked like a trooper, so we we put that down to being brand new. But I put a bit of thing in there. It's warm, but it seems to... Uh, we don't know if it shuts itself off when it gets to a certain temperature or not. I put a bit of rubber uh, plastic in, and it's a nice looking thing, isn't it? It was a cheapie, so whether it works or not, we'll have to wait and see. So we're trying here now. I'll leave it on for a bit. As my wife just told me to stay away from it. Because I was, oh yeah, that's on. I can see the red things. I can see the red glow down there. Yes, yeah. That's on. I can't see the top ones. Oh, that is flattening out as well. That was a um, shampoo bottle. So that's working quite well. I want to get this thing up and running. This few moments I got too many plastic bottles. So we're on the way to success, hopefully. So you want it, innit? The only thing wrong with this is I haven't got the fur dial on there for how hot you want it. So you've got a, you've got two bars, top and bottom, one bar bottom, one bar top. So you can regulate what you're doing there. All this one is, is a timer. But as long as it works, in it, I'm gonna leave that in there for a bit. Look, my reflection, my reflection in the mirror. What I'm trying to do is clean up as we go along. Yeah, I didn't have to like a good clean up. What's happening anyway? No, I think it shut itself off again. I've got a funny feeling it goes to a certain temperature and it cuts off. And me being too lazy. Since we got the book here, I'll have a read while I'm waiting. You keep an eye on that and give us a shout if anything goes wrong. Turn the timer control knob on. Bell will ring at the end. Wire rack position, cooking, blah blah and blah blah. Oven temperature 210 bit high but uh, things to cook warning be sure to unplug we knew that one warranty other stuff they sell it's glowing again now and I don't see nothing about it shuts off is advisable to leave the door half open, turn food over midway through the oil, avoid burns. No good telling me that, is it? Oh, yeah, it's melting in there now. So, I don't know, I don't know. I do not know. I gotta be honest, it did the first one was very quick, now it's gone off again. I just don't know why people watch me. Is it because I'm a f 
an idiot. Right, we're going to set you on time lapse and we'll just uh, uh, see what happens. I just did this for a bit of practice. One big snot ball. It's still nice and warm. You could keep that in your pocket for an hour. And it stay nice and warm. Put it up there, out the way. So give me a minute or two, and we'll saw my snot ball in half. It wasn't the best of cooks, but uh, you see how dirty it is. That's purely off my gloves. But we're gonna saw it in half anyway and see what happens, in it, in it, in it, Abby. So, 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 so. We've done a pretty good job here, tidying up. I don't see what all the fuss is about this hoovering caper, do you? It's quite detectable, get the old hoover out. Oh, I don't know what they moan about. Let's hope she's not listening. There it is, cut. I got some nice green veins in there. But, uh, nice and white inside, like it's purely dirty off my gloves. My gloves are ringing. They're my working gloves, but, uh, you see that all right? Let's think focus, yes. Plenty of uses, plenty. Plus it's absolutely solid. It's a good old stuff. So, I'm gonna make some jigs now for the uh, Make some jigs for the bird, uh, for the cooker, so when you bring it out you can clamp it down, you know the score. You've seen it before. I need a square dish, melt it, clamp it, leave it go for six months. Leave it go for a couple of hours. I think it was 18 quid off eBay. And funny enough it was here the next day, which I can't believe it was here the next day, so that, that was pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and you'll see other mad keepers going on here as usual. We try to entertain. Right, there we are, all set up. Hopefully now the next couple of videos will be Bob's cookery classes. I'll we'll get some of this plastic uh, cooking, plastic melting stuff. Thank you.